Now part of this process is determining how far I'm going to wrap this in carbon fiber. I'm thinking up here there's going to be a section and down here, but I need to define that. Now in order to do that, I've 3D printed a setup that's going to allow me to mount a ruler here so that I get the same line scribed across both sides. And I don't end up maybe marking one a little over this way and one a little over that way and end up with an uneven section. So let's go ahead and install that. done and just place a ruler along the straight edge that that creates and that gives me position it's even for both sides And just go like that. And flip the setup over and do the same thing on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and cut these grooves using a blade. Okay, probably going to start with a blade and migrate to a Dremel because this is a lot of work. It's very dense foam here. I'm going to really quickly build some more of this epoxy just to cover over this exposed area here and run epoxy up to where I drew the lines here on the bottom just to make that solid. And I'm also going to add some material here just because this kind of tapers up this way, so I need to build this up more.
applying this extra marine putty turned out to be a pretty big mistake. It's a lot of extra work to clean it up. I really should have stuck with the uh, glazing putty and I'm definitely going to be doing that from now on. But before I go sand this mess down, like I did with the other wheel, I'm going to go ahead and cut the grooves first that are going to be here and that will also help me get rid of some of this stuff as I go through. So I'm just going to take a cut off wheel on my Dremel and I'm going to cut into where I marked it. Be very careful doing this as the wheel can catch and jump at you. And another thing is make sure you're holding the wheel in a vise in order to do this. Otherwise it's going to be moving everywhere and it's a mess. that done you just flip it around and finish the cuts on the opposite end So the addition of the marine epoxy really didn't help out much. It just made a mess that I ended up having to sand down. So I went out and got myself some glazing putty. And that's what you see, this red stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this stuff down. Alright, so just using any grip paper like before. But I'm going to go ahead and be very light with my sanding. Not going to apply a lot of pressure because this stuff is not as tough as the uh, Epoxy.
So this is where I'm at with the steering wheels right now. So you can see the bottoms are now black. I'm also going to go ahead and spray the top black because you see it's got some marks and stuff that I don't want showing through the carbon. But I'm pretty happy with the overall shape of these things. And definitely once I put the carbon, you're not gonna see any of these scratches, right? The epoxy is self-leveling, so it'll fill this in. What I'm basically gonna be doing is I'm going to be painting this with epoxy here and here. Once that epoxy has been drying for about three hours, it's gonna tack up, and that's gonna allow me to just take carbon cloth and place it on here like that, and it'll stick onto it. You'll just kind of work it till it bends over the rim, and then I will shrink wrap it down to hold it in place and allow that to dry. Once that's dry, I'll take off the shrink wrap. I'll do some light sanding work, followed by a layer of epoxy, sanding, layer of epoxy, sanding, and so on and so forth, until I have a finish that I'm happy with and it's nice and level. Then I'll go ahead and hit that with a clear coat. I'm gonna be using automotive clear coat shot through a paint gun. So that's gonna look pretty spectacular when it's done. I know you guys have been chomping at the bit to see more of this stuff and I'm sure a lot of you were probably hoping to see carbon by this episode. I apologize for that, but I'm definitely going to have that done by this weekend. So stay tuned and you'll get to see that. And after that carbon is ready, you'll also get to see how I'm going to do the leather wrapping. I'm actually somewhat good at leather work. Just as an example, here is an MB Miata steering wheel that I just did for my buddy Aaron. Um, this came to me as an ugly one that he bought on eBay and I stitched it with a brand new wrap for him so definitely stay tuned you're gonna see when these are done they're gonna look spectacular and one of them is gonna have the uh, push start button stuff that I was working on earlier so one of these is actually gonna have a steering wheel mounted push button that'll start my truck and the other one is gonna be available for sale and one of you guys can go ahead and purchase it if you'd like. If you've enjoyed this video and you liked what you've seen here, please feel free to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you're notified when I post up another one. If you have any comments or feedback on how I can improve this, feel free to leave that in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.